right. first you take uh, two cups of uh, two or three cups of red lentils okay <laughs> so two or three cups of red lentils and one two three yeah. All right. For now. Uh, then, wash it thoroughly. Wash the red lentils. Put, the, put it in the saucepan and wash it thoroughly. Do what I'm doing, okay? Yeah. Good boy. So you have to wash it thoroughly. The red lentils. And then drain it. No, uh, just uh, first wash it. Okay, then Wait, is it supposed to have bubbles in it? Yeah, you can uh, just wash for three times. Okay. Mm. Wash three times, that's enough. Mm. That's enough. Drain okay. the water like this and keep it aside. Right. Do you have to drain all the water or just, just keep like a little this. bit? Yeah, just not uh, just all the water should go. Okay. Just do it like that and leave it there. But what if some of the water is still That's left okay. over? That's okay. It's no problem. Now, you have to cut half of an onion like this. Okay? And write. Uh, uh, can it be any tomato? Yeah, any tomato. But they should be really ripe, okay? Yeah. I should, I'm taking baby tomatoes. Okay. And add a clean, washed uh, piece of cinnamon, right? Yeah. You put all three together. Uh, question. Uh, yes. Does the tomato have to be a baby tomato? No. Or okay, can it sorry. just be any brand of tomato? Any brand of tomato, but they should be ripe. Okay, does there have to be two tomatoes? Yeah, just two tomatoes. If it is a big tomato, you can take one. These are baby tomatoes. Now what you do is, this is called kale. <laughs> so, you wash two kale pieces. Wash, you can cut it like this. Okay. Two small pieces. Right? How, how much is two kale pieces from the kale? Uh, about two branches like Oh. Okay? Alright. Okay? You cut it. Now you have this here. This I washed, I washed again. Now you have washed uh, dal there. And washed here. Uh, cut to, uh, onions, tomatoes. Right? And then cut these things. You have olive oil. Mm. You have chili powder. Turmeric. Salt. Does it matter which brand of turmeric or olive oil? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Any, any kind. So, also you need one mug of coconut milk. Mm. You can buy coconut milk from shops. Oh, it's too tight. Can you? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. This is coconut milk. Okay. One. One mug. Just put a little water, okay? Mm. It's too thick. Mm. Does it matter which brand of coconut milk? Doesn't matter. You can buy anything. Mm. Where do you buy the coconut milk? From uh, Coco's, Woolworth, anywhere. All right. They have boxes. Now what you have to do is, this is ready, this is ready. Uh, and this is ready, right? Hmm. Now what you have to do is put olive oil to a saucepan. How a much? Sauce, how uh, much olive oil? About uh, four tablespoons. No. All right. Just doesn't matter. And you, uh, that's it, huh? And keep it on medium fire. All right. Okay. Then you have to keep it there till it. It hot, medium fire.
What else? Take the thing, it's not my it's not all it. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. I believe it little bit hot. Okay, the whole pan? Uh, no, just a little bit hot. Make it hot. I know, but does the olive oil have to be the whole pan? No. Okay. Just like this. Then it's hot. Hmm. Does it have to cover the whole pan? You mean the oil? Yeah. No, no, no. Easily. Just put four spoons. That's enough. And when it is hot, let it it's hot. Hmm. I'm going to heat it. Hmm. So, to do is at this ingredients to that. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. All the ingredients. Let it fry for some time. Well, how long? About until this is... Uh, until they're all roasted? Yeah, yeah, not really roasted. A little bit in a brownish color. Hmm. Uh, do you mix the vegetable, the ingredients with the spoon? Alright. You take a spoon and keep the mix up. Mix him up. You have to Patience and tea. How long exactly do we have to wait? Oh, that depends, Baba. If, uh, it depends about heat. Okay. What's the recommended heat? Oh, like this. A little bit more than medium. Now, see, it's putting bubbles. See? Mm -hmm. Can see? This so bit. extremely hot? No, it's not extremely hot. See the bubbles. We should take this. This is what is important. So it's bubbling now. See? So it gives a noise. If very hot, you can put three. Mm -hmm. But if you want mild, you can put two. What if you don't want it really hot? Do you put one? Yes, one. One is enough. And you add salt to taste. How much salt? About one spoon. A teaspoon. Oh. Or if you taste it later and if you feel it's not enough salt, you put more salt, okay? Alright. Now you mix all together. And this is the next step. Take a powder, turmeric, uh, salt, and uh, tomatoes. Now see, they're all good. Hmm. Do we wait till it's done? About five to ten minutes. Okay. Then after ten minutes, now see. Take this one. When it's boiling like this, you add 
one month of water. Hmm. And leave it some time. Okay. About five minutes. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah. See, when you start boiling, what you have to do is take the washed uh, with lentils on the stove and pour this mixture into the bed. Mm. Do you mix them together with a spoon? Yes. Mm. And if that is not enough water, it should be more water. How much cups of water do we normally add? Uh, about five cups. Uh, gradually or immediately? No, immediately. Immediately, right. All right. And you keep on stirring. Not keep on, no. Until these uh, red lentils get soft. Hmm. How long will how long will oh, it take for you to start? Ten minutes. Alright. Mm. Where do I start? <laughs> I don't know. This is the cooked red lentils vegetable curry. Can you eat? This is enough for six or seven people. Okay. So, how much servings will this get us through? How much servings is this one for? Money like, wise. Hmm? Money wise. No, like, um, how long would the, in total, how much days or nights would it last? This, uh, if, if there are six, seven people, this is enough for one meal. Hmm. Right. You can eat this with rice or with pancakes or with bread. Okay? Hmm. You can eat with fries, pancakes, bread. You can eat this. You can also eat it with parate and flatbread, yeah. right? Yeah, string of all How do you know when the red lentils are soft? When you take it like this, it's not like this. I'll show you when it's. When it's slightly runny? Yeah. And you have to keep on mixing. Hmm. When it turns soft, does it also turn yellow? Yeah. Without okay. If you think you need more, you can do more. Mm. Who taught you the recipe? My parents, my mother. Mm. I learn everything from my mother. Okay. Yeah. Mm. This is a Sri Lankan way of cooking. Mm. If you want plain red lentils, you put milk. And then that's it. Taste mm. the uh, taste with it. You won't need uh, more salt and put that's it. But if you want to make a vegetable curry with this, you have to take some sort of vegetable. Okay. So kind of like the onions and tomatoes, and yeah, that? that's uh, only for the uh, plain one. But if you want veggie ones, you have to take kale. You know kale. Yeah. I show you kale. Did I show you the kale? Uh, the green stuff in the bowl is kale. Uh, yeah. Should it be bubbling? It's bubbling. Now it's going to bubble and you have to wait till they are very cooked. If you think, I think just a little bit more water you want for that. Okay. You can always judge. If that is not properly softened, you can put more water. Okay. How much more water do you uh, actually use? Like half a cup, half a mug first. Hmm. See, mm. still they're not properly. Mm. Does it normally steam this much? Hmm. Takes time to get the stuff. See, it's still not softening. See? But some of it is turning yellow, right? Yeah, some. Uh, that's, you have to keep on mixing. Hmm. Do you have to mix it in a certain manner? Uh, no, so everything will be mixed. Everything will be like this. Hmm. 
Okay. So, do you have to fold it? Mix it like it's getting folded? Yeah. Or just turn it around mixing? Just do whatever you do. Make sure that you're mixing everything. See? Mm. It's still there, not properly. See? So, fold it around? around. Yeah, better do it around. So, everything will be boiled. Take some time, about 10 minutes, then try to boil. Hmm. It's already been about 6 minutes. Yeah, about another 4 five minutes. Maybe it will take more, but can't tell. Because there are different varieties of red lentils. You know, Sri Lankan ones, they soft, they cook quickly. Indian ones will take some more time, like that. Hmm. So, the type of red lentils depends on the region of uh, South Asia? Yeah, uh, yeah, but only thing is, it's not a big thing. You have to watch, keep on watching whether it's spoiled or not, okay? Mm. Does all the lentils have to be fully submerged into the water yes, no. for it to boil properly? Yeah, if you need, I think I need more water. Mm. Because otherwise it will be not tasty. Mm. They're not properly boiled. So the water and coconut milk all, all depend on the flavor of the red lentils? Yeah. Mm. Is there anything water else? Water is to help them. Uh, be easier to make? To yeah. mix in with the rice? Yeah. Still there are hard pieces. You see, if they are not boiled properly, add more water. Okay? Hmm. Until they are softening. Then they will be raw. Hmm. You can't eat raw red lentils. Hmm. What's the difference between raw and cooked red lentils other than the color? Raw, you can't bust. Chewy, mm. nothing. So it's raw. So basically, it's easier to digest yes, if it's cooked. I think, yeah, I think mm. I need uh, more water. What do you think? Because it's still there. Are Needs a some bit. Water. Only like probably a cup, yeah. half a cup. Half a cup, yes. That uh, depends. You know, you have to keep on watching, and then that's all. Does the water also cool down the noodles? Yeah, it's okay, no problem. Hmm. Does it cool down the noodles as well as cook it? I mean, not noodles, I mean lentils. Yeah, and it will cook. You know, that's enough. It starts until it cooks. I think I'd better reduce the heat now. Is this where you cool the lentils off a little? Yeah. Okay. How long does it normally take you to cool the red lentils off? Uh, red lentils, it will take uh, four to nine minutes to an hour to prepare the whole thing. Huh. Oh. Prepare, do the whole procedure. Okay? Mm. See? Now there's, see the softness now? Yeah. Keep on mixing. Does it normally kind of look like a soup? Yeah, it's not a soup. For soup, you have to put a lot of other vegetables too. No, it just looks a bit like a soup. Yeah, it looks like a soup. The singer is, you call it paripu. Paripu. Paripu is red lettuce. Paripu. Paripu. Red lettuce curry in singer is paripu hodi. Paripu hodi. 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 Paripu hodi is red lettuce curry. See, they are all now. Look at this now. Hmm. See? They're soft. So basically, when it's all runny, it's, you know, it's soft? Yeah. Then what you do is add your coconut milk. 
Does the coconut milk kind of help to soften it a little yeah. more? Yeah. See? Three cups of enough for about six, seven people. Mm -hmm. Three cups of uh, red lentils is enough. See? They are soften. Mm -hmm. It's enough for about six, seven people. Mm -hmm. Start boiling now. You have to keep on mixing mm -hmm. now. It kind of looks like a pancake mixture. <laughs> It looks a little bit like a pancake. It? it smells a bit like it. Mm. See, now they're softened. They're not uh, pink anymore, orange mm. anymore. When they stick together and are a little runny, that's yeah, when you know it's... Right. it's... This is the Close the uh, stove. And, and let it cool down. No. You... Why is boiling at the vegetables? Hmm. So this is a vegetable red lentils curry? Yeah, vegetables red lentils curry. Instead of kale, you saw the kale, right? Yeah. You can add uh, bok choy. Wash and cut into pieces. Bok choy. What is bok choy? Bok choy is a, it's a vegetable. People know about it. Hmm. Keep on mixing all together. Hmm. You can mix, instead of kale, you can mix bok choy. Or you can mix uh, mushrooms. Mm. Wash mushrooms, cut into four pieces, square pieces, put them here. Mm. Same way that I did the uh, kale, you can do that. Where can you buy the bush? Mushrooms? No, the other one. Uh, that's bok choy? Yeah, bok choy. Same places that you buy this kale. Like Coles and Woolworths? Yes, Coles and Woolworths, bok choy. Now it's cooked. Now you leave it. Close the oven, close the stove, let it go. Hmm. That's finished. How long will it take to cook now? Sorry? How long does it normally take to cook now? It's cooked. It's ready for the table. Ready, ready for eating? Yeah. So in total it normally takes half an hour to an hour? Yeah. No. I serve something to the plate. I show you. Cooked one. This is enough for six, seven people. Mm. See? This is the cooked one. Mm. Right? Yeah. That's it. That mm. is the cooked one. Red lentils, vegetable curry. That's it. This oh. is the cook. <laughs> the mother of the person that works at Defense. And, and also the grandmother of the person filming the video. 